Hi guys, what's up? My name is David and welcome back to my channel. So this is like take 8 of trying to film a video because I just, I am so tired. But I still decided to make a video because, you know, I want to be helpful. So in today's video, I want to talk about passing tips. And with passing, I mean looking like a male, not looking like a cis male, because I, I don't do that. I used to do that, I was very good at it, but I did not feel really comfortable trying to be cis. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to be more confident in your masculinity and how to just be yourself, basically. So what I want to start with is that you should do what feels best for you. You don't have to do certain things. Um, a lot of people will tell you to look masculine. You have to have short hair. You have to not wear makeup. You have to wear a binder. You have to pack. That's, that's all not necessary. If you feel comfortable with how you look, even if that's not 100% masculine, then that's okay. That, that, that's completely fine. If you are comfortable with how you look and who you are, then you will automatically look more confident and people will perceive you as the gender you are. I'm speaking from experience because when I was trying very hard to look cis, people actually misgendered me more often than now, even though I, I feel like I look kind of androgynous. But I'm, I'm owning this look and that's why people often just assume I'm a guy because, you know, that's, that's just who I am. So, having said that, you basically don't have to listen to any other passing tips that I have. Just be yourself, do what you want to do. However, if you do want some passing tips, then you're welcome to stay. So, first I want to talk about hair. Hair is crucial to looking the way you want to look. It's, it, it changes how you look on pictures, how people see you. It, it's one of the first things they see. So as you can see, I have this mullet kind of thing. And it's relatively long for a guy, um, but I, I love this haircut. The thing is that if you cut your hair short, it does not necessarily make people think you're a guy. So back when I had a buzz cut a few month, months ago, I got misgendered so many times, people just assumed I was, I don't know, a lesbian or a cancer patient. It's one or the other. And then when I started growing up my hair, people started gen gendering me correctly. So just watch out with how short you go and what kind of haircut you get. Mm, another thing is, what, which I want to talk about is this thing. This is a binder. I'm sure you all know what it does. It makes your chest flat. I'm not wearing one more right now because I have asthma and it's currently 8 p.m. So I will not be wearing a binder at this time of the day because I will just literally suffocate. Um, but yeah, these things are amazing, but they are also expensive as fuck. And I know that, that it's hard for some people to get a good quality binder because they don't have the money for it. But in the end, it's definitely more worth it to buy a binder from, for example, GC2B or Underworks, because they are more durable, they are better for you, because if you buy your first binder from Aliexpress or Amazon, you can seriously damage your ribs and chest and lungs, which is not great in the long run. So yeah, not sponsored by GC2B, but I, I love them. Um, and there's also this other thing, backing. It's not definitely not for everyone. And you know, you don't have to have a dick to be a man. But I sometimes when I'm wearing relatively tight pants, I just feel more comfortable with something that at least looks like a dick. So I have these, this amazing underwear. It's from Paxis. I actually want it in a giveaway. And it's it just has a built-in bulge, which, you know, makes it look like you have a dick without the actual backer or sock swinging around in your underwear. Oh, and talking about socks. 
Uh, anyways, you can also buy a packer, which is a plastic dick, which you can then put in your underwear, or you can take your sock and then, you know, roll it up and just put it in your underwear. Um, but I think that Paxi's has amazing underwear, but it's, it's, it's just like binders, it's expensive. I'm just very lucky to have one to give away. <laughs> I, I will link put the links below if anyone is interested in getting a binder or a packer so you can look for yourself. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you do things with your appearance that you actually like, you'll come up over as more comfortable and that's associated with men in society. So if you are very confident and you dress the way you want, then people will see you as a guy easier. And also with pants, when you're buying men's pants, you have to know that it will fit differently than it will a cis male because our anatomy is slightly different. You know, if you have wider hips like me, then it's maybe not a great idea to wear skinny jeans because it accentuates your hips and for example if you wear mom jeans or just basically baggy pants then it hides your curves a bit more which makes your legs appear more masculine so yeah what you should pick up from this video is basically to um, just be yourself and that's when you will pass the best just look how you want to look like if you want to look like me have like nine piercings, have a mullet, dress in an alternative way, then, and just be confident in yourself, then you will pass automatically and everything will be fine. And I, as a severely depressed person with huge dysphoria, if I can tell you that it's gonna be fine, then it will be. Okay, well, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will use my tips in future life. I just don't want to be like everyone else and talk about which striped shirts you're supposed to wear or that you should tuck your shirt in your pants or that you should have the Justin Bieber haircut. I just want to tell you how it is. Just be yourself and you'll be fine. Okay, bye.